If you don't have any goodies, like just base, it's a really <sighs> hard fight. Because your biggest enemy is keeping the other three idiots on the battlefield alive. Like, that's the hard part. Time to finish this. I see even you could not bring yourself to beat an opponent, but yeah, it was super fun. Really hard though. The minute he hit us with all the shining bind, I thought it was over. I wasn't paying attention to what his health was at because it does it at half health. And on mania, he'll do it again at 25%. I guess not health. even you could bring yourself to fight dangerous, against such an opponent. Dangerous. Lord Yggdrasil. Who's that? Another angel. He's the king of the angels. Are you Lloyd? Give me your name and... <laughs> what did you say? Fine. I shall tell you my name, wretched human. I am Eugdrasio, leader of Crucius. And the Desions. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Uh, this fight is literally unwinnable, but you can try. I, holy Lance. That's all. Come on, I need you to just hurry up and inspect him. Understood. Tempest! Perish! Yeah, it's pretty much. Perish! Oh, no. Perish. No, leave me alone. Like, the fight will eventually end anyway. But, like, it's, uh, yeah, it's not meant to be one. You only do one damage. The, actually, the only thing that does hurt him is magic. But, like, you can't hurt him physically. It's more of a chance of like, oh, how long can we stay alive against him kind of thing, but... Our items were like pretty much depleted from the Kratos fight, so I'm not gonna waste any more. Kratos, I trust you have no objections? <sighs> Farewell. Damn! The Chosen has already become an angel. We have no choice. We're taking her back with us alive. Renegades, as irritating as ever. Still, it is of little consequence. Kratos, let us leave. As you wish. Hmm. Saved by the renegades. Don't die, Lloyd. <sighs> yeah, it's actually really hard if you start a new game without new game plus bonuses and play it on hard. Boy, you're finally awake. I mean, that fight is hard regardless. Like, even if you do a lot of damage, like, he still does a lot of damage to you too. She doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it, Lloyd. Do you remember this place? We're in Triet Desert. Remember? This is the base where you were captured before. The Desion base? These guys aren't Desions. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm confused too. Then why don't we go over everything we know about the situation as it stands now? First, our current situation. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Self, we yes, were rescued yes, by the yes. organization on this base. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called Renegades? Okay. It seems that the Renegades oppose the Desion. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like Desion. All right. I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the Renegades that looks a lot like the Desions. So then, who was that angel guy, Yggdrasil? And what about Kratos? Do you remember Yggdrasil's words? This is just pure conjecture. Crucius, holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell. Whoa, wait. Lloyd, if we think of the Desions as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns... I remember one of the Desion five... And Yggdrasil <sighs> said that he was the leader of Crucius and the Desions when he appeared... Yes, 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 yes. 
That's right. He admit I've beaten this game so many Kratos times. Is likely a sub he probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't strafe. So we were deceived by Remiel? The Crucius. Ah, you're awake. Then please, come with me to the... Yeah, there's not much to do in this space. We're just going to escape. And, oh, we're in Tepeyama. Nice. You're finally awake. Are you the Renegades? Correct. We're an underground resistance dedicated to fighting the Desions. Or rather, the Crucius. The so Crucius. And the Desions really are the same organ. Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martell. The Desions are a subordinate. The Church of Martell is not. Those who call themselves angels are half elves who have evolved by using a special type of X-Fear called. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martell and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half elves too? Yes. Some of the Desions, as well as Crucius and us. Ewan doesn't have pointy elves. ears either, so. Not all of them have them, I guess. To do? Are they doing all of this Neither did Mythos. We, like, for whatever reason, grown-up Mythos has them, but, like, little kid Mythos doesn't. Do you intend doesn't. to have us explain everything? Do they wish to revive? I think they you're explaining too much, if I'm perfectly honest. It seems drawn out and complicated. Well, well. There's another world beyond. Why are you impressed? Because are. someone can think for themselves? Yes. And the one who created this twisted world was... Create a world? If that's what you believe. Wait. If Yggdrasil was the one that created the two worlds, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? And that's not all. You're certainly not on our side. You know, that's stupid. Excuse me? Our goal is to stop Martell's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel Transformation. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. But now we have the key to stop Martell's resurrection. We no longer need the Chosen. We can hold you hostage. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? What's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him! Murder. My groin! Lord Ewan! No! It's his wound from Hyma! Ugh. Kratos! Wound from Hyma? Are you telling me I the one who attacked his ears are kind of was... pointy. Not as pointy as Boat is, though. Lloyd! What are you doing? Sorry. I was just, you know, telling everybody the plot. Yeah, the plot in these older style games is like conversational, spoken dialogue, front heavy. It's like front loaded in um. Yeah, we're not gonna be learning any of these. Oh, look at that. I can learn my new beast upgrade. Yeah, even though that paralysis charm was giving me protection against lightning, I was still taking a shit ton of damage. Like it's, it's pretty nuts. Like the amount of damage you take in that fight. It's a hard fight. It's like it's losable. Like you can lose it, and the game will continue. Like they're not really expecting you to win, but if you do win, you're rewarded with another level up. So I always try my hardest to win. I like it for us. Genus learned Freeze Master during the fight, and that's what got us the kill, so that was pretty epic. Damn, close. That was just warming up. But yeah, it happens like after every boss fight, so the earlier you have it, the better. Because every boss you fight pretty much increases your max HP by 1%. So I highly recommend that skill for New Game Plus playthroughs. Had yourself pretty well against Grotto Spectre. He was holding back. He killed many of us many times. I don't think he was holding back that much. I mean, maybe he was, who knows, in terms of the story. 
Okay, we got a quick little dungeon here. There aren't uh, actually enemies here. It's more of just a quick puzzle. Like, except for that guy we killed, you know. I say that and we just killed some dude, but... Uh, first, we're gonna go over here. Betrayer Kratos. Kratos was been, been deceiving us from the very beginning. Yeah, they know they're gonna talk about that for a while. I can't believe Kratos was a traitor. Oh shit, I need to do that part first. Okay, so first we gotta move this block over here to push down that um, metal block. Yggdrasil's aim. I wonder if that Yggdrasil guy is the leader of Crucius. Ismir, you'll pay for that. Yggdrasil. So loved by Origin, Mythos suggestion. Mythos is a fallen hero. By using the Eternal Sword, he warped reality's very existence. Like, it's a pretty decent story. Like, I mean, is it a little crazy to completely warp reality to try and... Like, he initially did it to stop the world from being destroyed. He split it into two so that the little bit of mana that was left after the Carlon War could slowly keep both planets alive until he figured out a better solution. The better solution was using the Great Seed to plant a new tree of life. But, uh, you know, his grief overtook him and he decided to... He decided that, um... Martel's regeneration was more important than the fate of the world, so that's kind of why he's a fallen hero. Oops. Now we need to push these back because we need these either to actually continue or we need them for item. And I can't remember if they need to be horizontal or vertical. That really sucks. I haven't done this in such a long time. Oh, I saw some blood in the other day. Yeah, it's too bad streaming JRPGs is kind of like not viable. Okay, it is vertical. Good. That's good. I mean, I can see why, like, for YouTube, it's a little more chill, like, you can take the time to watch it, but, like, sitting, you know, even if I'm just background noise for somebody or something, like, it's easier to just sit here and listen to me talk about it, or, you know, it's, maybe I'm not talking a whole lot, because there's not a whole lot to talk about. I don't know, it's tricky, it's like, it's not... It's only entertaining, like, if you're looking for, for this specifically, I don't know. Like, I guess a lot of it has to do with my performance as well. Like, oh, you know, I could try to be zany and wacky and to try and make it, you know, more palatable. But, you know, if I treat it more like a walkthrough and I give you hints about what to do and where to find things, it's, you know, it's better for a YouTube-type format. Damn it! What's so special about me? Those renegades need to hurry up and make up their freaking minds about whether there are enemies or not. Lloyd, what are we going to I'm do? I'm so we angry. We gotta save Colette somehow. She's going to die if she's made into Martell's vessel. But what can we do? And then we'll see how much longer I feel like playing. Because once Sheena, I get to Tethyala... where did you get your X-Sphere? <sighs> That's kind of huh? exciting. That came out of we got nowhere. a couple of new characters. Is it normal for people to equip X-Spheres? No, not at all. Nowadays, X-Spheres are mainly attached to machines. Wait a second. I'm not sure if you could say that, but the Renegades were the ones that brought us information, and the plan to assassinate the Chosen, they talked the King and the Pope, and if you desire for Tethayala to prosper. That's horrible! Lloyd, why 
I tell Don't you remember what angels are half elves that evolved using special X spheres? I get it. Since Tethayala is studying the X spheres, they may know something about Crucius crystals. That's a good idea. I'm pretty sure that they're studying the Crucius crystal that belongs to Tethayala's chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a chosen in Tethayala too? Of course. But if they've been carrying out the regeneration that many times, why hasn't Martel's vessel been completed already? I'm curious about that myself. No. Yeah. Never mind. Crucius. So let's just. Mythos didn't want Sounds his sister to be a yeah. boy. And this time, I'm not going to let Colette be. Wait a minute. That's great and all. I'm sure Sheena knows how to. My understanding is that you can travel to Tetheala by passing through a distortion in space. As far as I know, crafts called Riards are the only things that can do that. Where are they? The renegades Beats should me. have them. Okay, then. So much more. Exposition. I should fight those guys. It's more fun. You're in for a world <laughs> yeah, these are the dudes that have a chance to try. White Silva. Understood. Can fix this while I'm here. Are you okay? Eruption! That was just warming up. What more can I learn? Hey, let me see. Sword Rain Alpha, I need to get that up to 50. But... Not bad of a dude. Man, there's a lot of. You could say that again. No way! Don't get in the way! Laser! See, it has the potential to hit tons of stuff if it's done right. Okay. See, what's cool about Freeze Lance is it's more of like, a focused attack. No way! Come get some! I call upon the heavenly messengers! I summon thee! Come, Silk! Are you ready? Go, go, go! Here I go! See, had we been able to do that during the Protoss fight, it would have been a lot better, but you know. Are my seal spells amazing or what? Yeah, your moves are definitely Yay, awesome. Hey, max HP increased. I don't know how many fights that was before we got one outside of a boss fight, but it does happen. Not much of a specimen. No way. It always happens after a boss fight, which is pretty sweet. Oh, these guys put paralysis on us. Since I was speaking of it earlier. And I was like, who puts it on us again? But it's like very rarely that those guys do. So these are the Riards. Hurry, they'll catch up to us. All right then, Tepeola, here we come. This was neat. These added little anime cutscenes. And they happen much smoother on PC, like on the PlayStation 3 version they didn't. Oh no. Definitely on the PS2 version they were a little wonky whenever they would play them. 
but uh, they definitely got Whoa. better. What's happening? I don't know. It just suddenly... Look, the fuel gauge is empty. So that's it. Since you've broken the seals in Silverant, there's not enough mana in this world. And that means... We're gonna fall! Ah! Ah! Oh, that's funny. Like, he's the weakest... The lady that does him is, like, the weakest voice actor, but... She did an okay job. I think we managed to avoid destroying them completely. But they're useless unless we get some fuel. What's the fuel? Coal? Coal? Oh, jeez. Then magic, I assume. Then all we have to do is have Sheena summon Volt. I haven't made a pact with Volt. Oh. Well, then I guess we'll just have to leave these here. Oh, and here I thought Magi technology was infallible. The Tower of Salvation. Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the Flourishing World. The Tower also appeared on your side of two worlds. Two towns. What about the whole is the Holy Ground? Yes. The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the Holy Ground of Carlon. The Holy Ground of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? We have records of how the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the holy ground of... And such records, instruments used to sign the treaty, can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. So... They holy literally just said that anyway, the world was created by one dude. Wow, it's our first of... Genus, how can this, this be possible? <laughs> like, literally... We just heard. I mean, they don't really know that it was one world split into two, but... I mean, Yggdrasil kind of said as well. But no, Ewan said that Yggdrasil created Tetheola. So, you know, he kind of let it sit there. <laughs> 